and then welcome to another modern video we have the new card slick shot show off the most powerful card for modern from uh, outlaws of thunder junction at least for now maybe we're gonna break something uh, soon but so far this is an obvious addition to prowess decks super good with lava dart I have done some incredible kills at the tournament last weekend in Pisa where I played this deck already and uh, it was Slickshot Show Off, Lava Dart, Flashback Lava Dart, Flashback another Lava Dart and that was 10 damage out of nowhere to win an incredible game. So that is definitely a card with a huge potential. You say nice sideboard, it is though, this is the reason why I like to play Gruul for the sideboard. You get to have a chance against Amulet Titan which otherwise is a terrible matchup for prowess decks. Uh, you get to play with moons, uh, which maybe you can do if you're playing also preordain and iteration. You get to play with pick your poison and destructive revelry, which obviously you can't if you're playing is it. Surgical extraction is much better than turn the earth. I had turned the earth, but keeping up one mana for this deck is not good against Gorio. And Gorio is one of the best decks in modern, if not the best deck, so it's very important to respect it. Enough talk, let's get down to play. I acquired the Force League Shaw Show Off this morning, and I'm ready for a modern league with prowess. Let's begin. Any thoughts about Scumblade? No, no thoughts about Scumblade. I hate grief, I think it's weak. I don't want to add it to my deck. only want to play, well, 2 mana, 1, 2, haste. So you have a Postal Blessing. This is a card that is hasn't seen very much play in uh, modern history. Uh, but it is good in this deck, I think, because you get to go, like, plot the Slickshaw Show Off. And then the next turn, play a Postal Blessing to protect it. Granted, I never actually did that play, but in theory it should work. Aikado, thank you for the raid. And, of course, Young Dingo, thank you for the raid. All right, my hand does. Oh, another topic that's super important is the survey land. You 100% should play a survey land. I fetch survey land so often in the tournament. And uh, sure, there was also sometimes where I drew it in my hand. But I think that it's like 10 scenarios versus one. Like I played 10 fetches. So I can get to the point many times in a game where I draw my fetch lands and I'm not curving out. Ooh. Slickshot show off over there. Huh, I wonder what my play here is. I think I'm gonna go with Swiss Spear uh, plus show off in this matchup and just ignore these channelers, which is a little bit harder for me to get to Delirium because I don't have that many instants. No curse totem. Yeah, no, no, no. We don't play bad cards, only great cards. Yeah, the matchup against Yogamoth, uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's good, but it's okay. Snap boosters. Alright, my opponent can have condescent, so I'm just gonna play double channeler here. Snap boosters, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go for uh probably just fetch land, reducing those uh Reducing those lands in the deck. Let's go. So this deck struggles getting sorcery. There's only one and it's Bram Resolve. But you also have enchantments and you have uh, art artifact. So you almost always have creature and instant and land. So you're just missing one of the three. Okay, I drew another land, not ideal. But now I can go for the Slickshaw Show Off. And you can't uh, condescend this. You can't remand this, which is annoying. I put all, and then I'll play Lava Dart to the face. And probably also flash it back. Uh, let me go grab another mountain, I don't care. 
So Lava Dart deals uh, 4 damage at the moment. And we can surveil in the graveyard the missing type. It's not this. I'm gonna um, actually by flashing back, I lose Easton from the graveyard, so it's gonna be less damage. Okay, so this was a lot of damage, although obviously it's not lethal, but close. That's 9 damage. Opponent goes to 7. Plot could be relevant. Yeah, my, I think is that you can plot it against ending. Plot is like Ragavan having dash, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you want to play around the sorcery speed removal and you dash Ragavan instead of uh, of just attacking with it. When it plays the ring. My hand is not great. Uh, I got nothing. I'll play Swift Spear, play Land Pass. Opponent goes to 6 here. I can get a Survey Land end of turn. Which is obviously great. We love Survey Land. Should always play 1. I think even Burn. I mean, I tried it in Burn and it was clunky. But I think it's just more sample size. Like, the more I play with modern decks, the more, like, one survey land always helped my cause. Okay, opponent got Tron. So they have access to 9 mana now and a lot of cards in end. So things can go bad. Hope it's not Bleeding Stone. Maybe I shouldn't have played a Swift Spear. Yeah, I shouldn't have played a Swift Spear. Anyway, they go Karn. Let's see what's next. Yeah, like Eugene. Yeah, I should have held the Swiss Spear 100%. Two. Another one. Okay. Librarian, 31 months. Hello, you just bought your Slick Shot Show Off? Nice. Did you buy from TCG Player using the Mango Affiliate Code? That is the real question. Alright, let's go and surveil. Can I get a Bone Crusher Giant? I got a bird. Do I want to draw a bird? Do I want to draw a bird? That's the question. I think I'm not. I think I have enough creatures already. I need to draw a burn spell, like a lightning bolt. There it is. Ooh, actually, what if I... Oh, whatever, I'll return Gigantha. Very unlikely that I need to play bolt now. Arn, pass. Show off from 5 ticks to 21 in a day. That's not true. I always check the price of this card. It was never 5 ticks. It started at... It started at a sold out whenever I checked. And whenever, the pre and whenever it was on market, it was like 20 ticks. I got it this morning at 16. I'm happy with it. Probably gonna go down. Of course, it's a rare. But, I mean... Whatever, like this is my job, so I have to buy it, but <laughs> I don't think this card is never low. Even in paper, pre-order is always very high. Point is on five, and they have a ring on two. So unless they play another ring next turn, they're gonna lose two and then I can bolt you. I love the I love the MTG finance around the new set. 
Let, let's let's check what are the cars doing today. We got Jace at 35, show off at 19 at 18 and a half. Satoru the infiltrator. This is an interesting one. Tiny bones. So I hope in the collector boosters, because I won some prize last Sunday. I got this like foil alternative art and everything. I thought it was a junk rare. And then I checked it was 30 euro. So I traded this and a bunch of other things for a new collector booster. <laughs> That with that one. You think paper price of bird will go down? Probably. I mean, usually price go down on cards. What is deep in the tank? <laughs> Marcel, thank you for the second month. What did I get with my new collector booster? Well, you can find that on my platforms because I shared the Insta story, a short, a YouTube shorts of that. I can, I can watch it with you. Oh, by the way, speaking of YouTube, while my point is deep in the tank, uh, I got a new popper video on the Mangos Workshop. It also got 6.6k views in 12 hours, so I'm very excited about it. We're trying to change thumbnail over here. We're going from uh, the like, the like face behind, uh, you know, like this, like myself with two cars behind me, to my face during the video, like this. I don't know. You 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 tell me if if you like the this thumbnail idea. Always trying to improve my opponent. No opponent is still sleeping. Still sleeping opponent. Die opponent, I need to make some content today. Come up. Hurry up. Hello everybody. Alright, let's see. Let's see the shorts. Let's see the shorts. Hello everyone, I'm in Pisa. I just played uh, Monored Prowess. Alright, that looks like a point it arrived. The Krakabla Zone. The Krakabla Zone. The Krakabla Zone. Okay. That's what that that's your play. Blast Zone Crack. How did you find Oh yeah, top there is that one. How far? No, it doesn't drop to three to five euros, don't worry. Okay. Let's try to kill you now. This is gonna be three damage regardless, unless you kill the bird, I guess. Alright, so I'll bolt you. Now, this is obviously lethal, but I'm sure you're gonna deal with one of those two. This is a $5 card. Why? What does it mean? It's, it's good in modern. It's not a $5 card. <laughs> the famous meme that always is always funny to me of no, this piece of cardboard shouldn't be 15 euro. It should be 5 euro. But this piece of cardboard over here, this one should be instead 50 euro. Okay, opponent, you're dead in upkeep. What do you do to not die? Show me. Show me what do you do not to die. Don't please die after you talk for like five minutes about it. If I own it, it should be expensive. If I don't own it, it should be banned. Of course, that is the corollary of any magic finance. So if I own ma uh, the one ring, they can never reprint it and it should be very expensive. Whereas, if I don't own it, it should be banned. Not in-betweens. No in-betweens, of course. That is how magic finance works. Okay, we were able to win the game after my opponent uh, couldn't find an out to our burn spell. Ah. Do, 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 do. How many cyber cards do I want here? 
Do I want any of these moons effect? Because it's mono blue Tron. Remember when I played mono black, mono blue Tron, the moons are a joke. You play moon, you lose the game. So I think I'm not bringing it in. I think I'm just having these. I don't even want all of the... I don't even want all of the... All of the pick your poisons, I think. Oh, overlay with a result. You're right. Yeah. Okay, we got it. This is just the first match. We had some issues with the microphone, and uh, this game has lasted infinite for some reason. This fight is pretty over soon. You think all cars should be affordable? That's too reasonable. That's a too reasonable of a take. You're not. We're on uh, a magic channel. You can't be reasonable. Okay, this hand is not good. Maybe this mutant aggro should have been out. But I have the bird. I want to keep it. Let's see how we can do. Mamiya Kishkif. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bubble. I know that I can't pump this Lixia show off with it, but I don't have a second land. Wow, what is this again? No, you can bounce my bird. I'm gonna bolt you. Yeah, this might, this I should have probably been a mulligan. I would have mulligan this end. It's just that I wanted to show off with the bird plus mutagenic growth and bubbles. Didn't play out well. But this game against Mono Blue Tron. I'm not under pressure. I'm the pressure, and that's why you should always play a proactive deck and never a reactive deck. Because if you get unlucky against the reactive deck, you can still bail out. If you get unlucky against the proactive deck, you lose the game. I don't know if you follow me, but that is an important topic. All right, what if we plot the bird now? And I can cast it at any point next turn, or on a later turn, for free. Walking Barista, and you keep up the whale, okay? Wow, nice draw, Mangu. Nice draw. I think I'll just keep on uh, not do anything here. I love it, art this. Play on top, land, go. I think it's a good play. My opponent has to keep up two mana for this thing forever. And when they don't, boom. I think it's good. Tussle Ledger Shredder and Slick Show Show Off. Bird Tribal. <laughs> Bird Tribal. Unfortunately, Ledger Shredder is dead. And whoever plays it these days in modern is just trying to relieve the happiness of the past modern format before Lord of the Rings. with you eh? if you want to relive those happy days i i can definitely feel with you okay uh i revealed what land and pick your poison that's not very good play and how do i spend my mana i think i want to go questing druid plus because, like, casting Pick Your Poison, I don't think does literally anything to anybody. Lucky, I only sided in two when I drew both of them. Anyway, I'm going to go Questing Druid for sure, and then I think I pass. Once again, I don't want to do anything. I want to make my opponent... <gasps> no, Spetta. That's okay, right? Oh, let's do this. I go Slickshire Show. Oh, look at this. I go Slickshire Show Off. I got it. I got it, Chai. I have a good play this turn. Check it out. I go Slickshire Show Off now, finally. I go Stomping Ground. Pick your poison on Artifact. Whoa. Opponent's gonna be. Yeah. And now they either keep up this or 
lose this. Look at that. The show off made so that they had to crack this. Okay, now, do I want to make them play this whale or not? See, now let's make them play. I'll put it on top, right? Yeah, I'll put it on top. And then next turn, I can go off. But it's crazy that I missed the second lane drop and then I'm now flooding. But this is a, a very important topic that I just said at the beginning. If you get unlucky against a deck like Scam or Zoo, you lose because they pressure you. You don't have time to recoup. But if you get unlucky against a deck like Mono Blue Tron, they do nothing. So you find you have time to get out of your mana screw or, or just lock. You understand me? So when you play like a reactive deck, like Four Color Omnath, that is a problem to me. Well, squeal, you can watch the, the, the video. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to play this untapped because it pays around uh, the... Um, and I cast this. Condescent. I play past round? Yeah, I recorded everything. This was like some weeks ago. They will release slowly, though. I'm not gonna tell you how it did because I'm, I'm gonna love a dart to you. Repeal. Hmm. Uh, do I still wanna love a dart to you? Nah, that's okay. I'll plot this and pass. Uh, maybe I can just Gigant. Yeah, actually, I think Gigant is better use of mana. It, does, it doesn't matter. I cast this next turn. Like in competitive magic, it's very important to have a deck that is functional. I always, uh, you know, say that about the A plus B plus C combo decks that sometimes I see people winning with, and then I play and they're terrible. Because you, you just stress too much. It's like Kabak Offers plus Orborg, Asmo plus Cookbook, you know, a lot of things like that. When it gets to Tron, they have access to 5 mana this turn. They probably play just the ring. Of course, ring has a turn to protect, so we can still pick your poison it. Oh no, they play Walking Barista. Eh, it's over. Unless they have subtlety. This is probably like 1000 damage, by the way. Oh, I don't know. I just play Underworld Breach, I guess. Isn't every deck A plus B plus C? No, it's not. This is 20 creatures, 20 spell, 20 lands. Any combination of those can win a game. It's not a deck where you have to draw Grief, or you're not after all, are awful. Or Urborg, or your Cabal Coffers are awful. Let's play Bolt. It's so much damage that I'm, I, I can't even count it. Let me expressive iteration. So the problem with expressive iteration is that, um, well, you get more pain from your lands first, and also you can't really play Bloodman too well. 
I don't want to count, but remember that I had some extra bubbles from the uh, from extra mutagenic growth from the bubble from the graveyard and also lava dart. Uh, that was probably. Hey. say I really don't know how much damage it was but I don't want to know oh we can we can see what was my second collector a very sick new card almost topated and now I'm gonna get my prize it's a collector booster let's see what's inside so I already preemptively opened it because it was so hard to open the first time it felt like they just like, I don't know, it was so hard to open, so... <laughs> Alright. Second opponent, Kochi Milk. I'm on the play with my Jaggy. Wallander. Nah, this end is a mulligan. With... Nah, this end is a mulligan. Oh, bene, questa, this is a keep. I have commercial district to help my second land a little bit better. Do I bottom? What do I bottom? The postal blessing, I think. First, I bubble myself, and then I play commercial district. I guess it doesn't make too much sense since I'm gonna play commercial district anyway. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Let's bubble you. Inquisition of Kozilek. Wow. Had it. I guess I could have... I could have played Commercial District first, saw the land, and I didn't need to play the bubble. Yeah, that was the play. That was my best play. Yes, Pick Your Poison is strong. Although it's a cyber card, and the, at the last tournament I played on Sunday, I played against two Scam, two Gorio, and Yogmot, and I didn't side it in, so it's not like a, a main deck card. There's still like a lot of decks that don't uh, play it. I'm gonna go Swift Spear Bolt you. I mean, I'm a burn deck after all, and I wanna fill the graveyard for um, Under a Breach. Yeah, I would have dealt one more damage with the... I guess that's not true, because I wouldn't have found the, the bolt. Yeah, we can, we can remove Cauldron, for sure, yeah. And also Fable against Scam. You have Application, it's just not happy to have it, I think. Uh, Alright, so here I can go Breach Bolt, but I want to do better than that. I'm just returning Giganta this turn. Do I think a Postal Blessing is better than... Yeah, I think so. For example, in one of my wins, uh, I was against Cam, and my opponent had a flyer blocker for my Slickshot show off and had a postal blessing. So I dealt a lot of damage because they couldn't block my creature. The, the X proof trick doesn't, doesn't do that. All right, that thoughts is my breach away, which which easier way to recoup in those type of games. I guess Cam, for example, breach getting like a three for one. It's how you it's how you win. Breach get back. Um... Okay, questing druid is extremely good. I'm gonna uh, seek the beast. And in this Discord matchup, iteration would be amazing. What did I find? Ah, oh, that's, that's a pain. Man. Yeah, not good. Not good. I can play me the Jenny Grow just to put a card in my graveyard for the next breach. This orc? Oh, it's good. I did it. Okay. I'll give yeah. I wish I had a. Wish I had put a degenerate growth in my graveyard. Although it's gonna be okay. Uh, I can just go breach, 
requesting Druid this turn. Uh, don't complain about odds in chat. It's what it is. It's like you open the television, you complain about odds. That's how, that's how streamer makes money off of a free platform. So it's what it is. Hello. Anyway, do I want to go questing Druid? They're probably going to uh, seek the beast. Is that I... Nah, I don't think I can play seek the beast. What is that I have to do here? Just go double bubble? I can just go double bubble. The problem with questing Druid is that... So if I flip... Nah. I don't think you can do end step, right? At the beginning, yeah, this says at the beginning of the end step. So you can do that because at the beginning of the end, oh, you sacrifice it. So it goes on the stack. You should do that, right? Yeah, I can do that. So I'm going to go bubble. Kraken. And then I go, uh, oh no, they have Herber, those coppers. So I go end of turn, the breach leaves, sorry, goes on the stack, and then I play uh, Seek the Beast. So end of turn, this goes on the stack, and then I play Seek the Beast. And this one will remain until my next turn. All right, so this was a very good draw. As I said, I play three breach because this deck is just, you know, without, uh, without expressive iteration, I think you need to play uh, you need to play many breach. If you play express iteration, you can play less. Okay, so they drew uh, Urborg, which means they have now a ton of mana. Wow, they don't they don't use it. All right, so I need to cast the cards off of uh, that I revealed off of Questing Druid. Do I want to go Seek the Beast or Questing Druid? I think I'm going to go Seek the Beast. Once again, trying for the maximum value. Could have gone Bubble, but I may flip another. I think I'll leave that on top. It's like two lands now. After leaving that on top. Okay, what do I do now? I'll play land, and I'll play, I guess I'll play Questing Druid, and I'll play Bubble. Yeah, that's my sequence. Could have been better. Graveyard. And I pass. I guess I can crack this now. Oh yeah, yeah, you have card on top of your deck. That's scary. I think it's the sideboard that makes uh, Gruul better than Teamier. I was thinking that you can play Blood Moons and just side out the blue cards when you side in Blood Moon. Put in March as my creature, draws Karn. I think now the game could be over. It I just took a long time to to get the card advantage flowing. What about combining Tarmos? Yeah, we could play Tarmogoyf in this deck. It's just. What do you cut? So Mage? Add more lands? You could do that. Opponent goes card, Tithing Blade. Okay. I'll get to Delirium. I think I want to go... Oh, 
I'll fetch you delirium. I'll go questing druid. Anoli heat and pass. You don't like Blood Moon. Have you ever beat Amulet Titan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I played against Amulet Titan, and uh, I would say that if I didn't have the Blood Moon effect, no chance I win. Okay, they push. They got a lot of mana again. What do they do? Oh, they transform the Titan Blade. <laughs> okay. Plus all the Leyline Scion decks, I love to have um, access to Blood Moon. Alright, I'll fetch first. I'll go Questing Druid. Look at the value that I make in this game. I think I drew all my card advantage cards. I think I only missed one Breach as a card advantage card. But I drew all my Druids. Very good. Uh, okay, I'm happy with Channeler. I'm gonna hold the Soul Scar Mage because I want to play another quest in Druid this turn. Imagine we didn't draw those Druids. Hey, what do you mean? It's not an argument. I mean, some decks has to play the best card. I'm just talking about A plus B combo decks. It's not an A plus B combo decks. Plus, I'm doing a lot of, you know, digging. And, yeah, I gotta get lucky, of course, to win the game. Okay, so that's another... So, this is not amazing. I'm gonna graveyard. I'm just looking for the last breach to win the game. So, just graveyard anything that isn't that. What did I flip? Another bre another mage and an only heat. Domination, okay. Breach. Breach. I wanna draw breach. Play questing druid. I'll play Soscar Mage. I'll play Soscar Mage. And I have to pass here. I can't waste the Unholy Heat on a target. Lose on the drone turn three before you cast Blood Moon? <laughs> you play the, the Pick Your Poison and, uh, and the other one? I don't know. T to me, that's fine. With this sideboard, I side in 10 cards. I think it's okay with this sideboard. They march my... Poor Jonathan Lolo. I, I can only win this game with... Um... I can only win this game with the... Um... Underwear Breach. That's the only way I can win this game. Today drafts? Yes. Yes, Da Vinci. This is a Cabal Coffers, yes. Thoughtsies. Okay. Come on, Underworld Breach. We got 24 cards in our deck, only one Breach left. I drew all the other three. Do we want to love it our flashback? Nah. Now you can go. If I draw a Slickshot show off, that's a lot of damage. I don't know how much damage I dealt this game, but it must be over 20 already. Like Moon against Coffers. I don't, no. I would side in Moon against uh, Leyland of the Guild Pack decks, and I would sign Magus of the Moon against uh, Tron and... Uh, uh, amulet. 
And of course, amulet. Oh, 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 blood moon also against amulet. Clink to dust. Oh no, clink to dust. So powerful draw. We run out of fetch lands, of uh, fetchable lands. Let me just quickly look at the so, uh, exile zone just to understand what am I looking for. Well, I also have three slick show show off in my deck. Oh, you drew Karn? Jeez. What do you grab? You grab Chalice of the Void. Hmm. Oh, on two you put it. Okay, interesting. Uh, sure. I'll play Swifty. I'll dart the Karn. And I think I'll flashback dart because you have the cling to dust. Is irrelevant. No, actually, if you if you cling to dust my dart, you don't draw a card because I make it fizzle. So, all right, you go up to twenty. <sighs> Let's see what they do with Cling to Dust. If they exile my dart, I just uh, ping you. But yeah, I think it's just it's gonna be very hard to. Oh, you dealt the board. Very hard to do with the chalice now. Any druids left? No, I play all four druids. Also, I have Chalice on too, so I thankfully don't have any more Druids. Yeah, I can't cast this, unfortunately, <laughs> because of the Chalice. Yeah, Titan Blade is a technology that I um, I added recent, um, like last uh, few months ago to Mono Black. It was actually suggested to me by a comment on Instagram. I think it's a really nice addition. Do you have any outs here? Well, pulling in a ring, they may lose a lot of life. I draw a bolt, I deal a lot of damage. I mean, I can concede, but I, I can definitely concede. I think if I concede, nobody would be like, oh no, you should have played. It triggers prowess. Oh yeah, for sure. Bonus four cards and passes. I mean, this is a ton of damage. I think I'm gonna deal it. Like, like I don't have too much to play for at this point. I'm just gonna deal as much damage as I can. I hope they die with the ring. I don't know. And like, you go to seven, you go to five from the ring. If you drew, I don't know, a bunch of bad cards, you may lose the game. Of course. Again. It's it's very unlikely that I lose, that I win, but I think it's on a 0% chance. And it's not even that boring. I mean, sometimes like I concede because the game is boring, but my opponent's playing at a reasonable pace. And whenever that happens, I'm always like, sure, you know, let's keep on playing. Okay, so I have two Lava Darts, two Bolts, one Swift Spear, one Mutagenic Growth. Three Slick Shot, but I can't cast those anyway with the Chalice. Can't even plot it. I mean, I can plot it, but... 
can cast it. All right, they passed. Tuck. Hey, let's play bold to the face. Do we got it? Do we have lethal? I probably have push. Kredzoro, 28 months. Thank you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. No, don't march me. Don't march me. Now, if that march would have played in their turn 100%, that's not a march. You can't slow roll a march. Shouldn't you bolt my thing when you try to march it? Well, it wasn't lethal, so no, I shouldn't have done it. You know what's lethal now? Also, if they have march, for sure they played in their turn. Come on. They draw four cards, they have a trigger of ring with four loyalties on it. Sorry, loyalty damage on it. We win. Boom. Okay, that was a that was a win. Alright, take a bottom break and come back. If that was wrong, you would have conceded. <laughs> Alright, so uh I don't even know if I want pick your poison though. I definitely don't want any blood moon or magus. Those are a big trap, and whenever you side this in, you lose. Pick your poison on the other hand. Also probably a big trap. I know he kills shield, right? I must keep it. I think the worst card in the deck is mutagenic growth. So I can just do that. What do you think about this? Yeah, I think I'll side lightly. By the way, my opponent made uh, several mistakes in the game. Most The, the biggest one is uh, when your card isn't impactful and you just get a medium card like Chalice. They should have just gotten an impactful card like, uh, I don't know, Cityscape Leveler, like something to win with. That is most of the time, the, the problem I see with people with Karn, they just get mediocre cards and lose. Alright, let's begin. Flavor Judge, thank you for the second month. Welcome to the stream. Gonna play a couple of bubbles. The first one combos with the Arithmeza. The second one, we'll see. So first I bubble. I see a questing druid. That's great. I'll draw it. And do I want to do another bubble? Uh thank you, thank you, Flavor Judge. How many bubbles do I want to play? Yeah. Yeah, I'll play it. I'll hold the third one, though. How did I win? My opponent never played anything relevant and died. Draw the questing druid. This is the free opt. Now I'm going to bubble myself again. Let's see what I find. Another question droid. Perfect. I'm not gonna not gonna fetch then. Draw. Play land. And I'll play bubble on myself. See what it is. A bolt. Okay, now I wanna fetch. Don't wanna draw a bolt. I'll grab a basic mountain. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll grab a basic mountain here. You can go, draw, okay. And they pass without making a land drop, nice. I'll grab uh, a stomping ground and play Seek the Beast. End of turn and let's start the Seeking. So you use your bubbles as free cantrip. Channeler brands resolve, perfect. That's more card advantage coming on my way. I'll uh, deck thin again. Deck thin and very important in the deck that plays so few lands. And yeah, and we just go for the value. Channeler plus Vren's Resolve. 
F6, no, I guess, no F6, so I can flip the last Mishra's bubble. It's like a show off. Um, it's a creature. I cost two. It's okay, I'll keep it on top. Should have probably graveyard did. It would have given me the Lyrium. Whatever. All right, that's a little bit too many lands, but that's okay. Uh, what do we do? Uh, I think my play is... Uh, oh, actually, can I plot this from the graveyard? Okay, no. New rule that you didn't know about. You cannot plot show off if you flip it with Questing Druid. Uh, not yet. Let's go Questing Druid show off, I think. Yeah. Questing Druid. What deck would you recommend for LMS Bologna? Anything you like, anything you buy the cards for, anything you play well. It's modern, there isn't really. Like, I would recommend, I mean, a Titan to everyone, but only like 1% can play it. Cards can only be plotted from hand, exactly, yes. Pray, they push. Sure, they kill. Sure. Is it time to play this breach? Yeah, let's go for it. Um, mm -mm. I grab stomping ground. I'll play breach. I'll play channeler. I'll play... I think I just... I think three more damage. I'll play Brand's Resolve instead of a uh, Questing Druid. I think it's the better play. Sorry, instead of um, a Slickshaw Show Off. I don't care about damage. I only care about card advantage. I remember a time a person commented about it and he said, Mengu, you play prowess as if it's Merktide. You have to be more aggressive. I don't know, you have to be more aggressive. I don't have to be more aggressive. Man, imagine siding in Leon of the Void against a deck with one drops and burn spells. You can be aggressive and draw and play your one ones and attack. I I I, I, draw, I like to draw cards more. What is it? Turn five? I have nine cards in hand? Your turn. Eventually you can turn cards into damage. Eventually though. Right, let's play land. Let's play Slick Shot Show Off from here. They can seed. Ma. All right. Do you remember the meme of The Simpsons saying, oh, I found whatever, $10 under my sofa. And he said, I wish it was a peanut. And then the brain says, but money can't buy peanut. It's the same with drawing cards and dealing damage. You want to draw cards first. Eventually, you turn those cards into damage. Did you see Dingo Trophy with Izzet? I didn't. Did he tweet it? Let me see. I mean, he posted on the group here that he said he 5 would but I didn't see the list. Let's see, let's see. Young Dingo. Allora. And my problem with this is the sideboard. Like, not playing these enchants, ah, it scares me so much. 
I don't know what car prosperity is. Yeah, no, I mean, this deck seems, seems good. Seems good, this deck. I know it was a joke, but I will always do it because I think it's a fail and I will always highlight it. So to me, those cards are prosperity. They aren't whatever it's written on them. Okay, this is round number three. My hand doesn't have creatures, but you know, that's why our A plus B deck is good because we don't need to draw one. We can draw the other one and maybe draw into the other one. I don't know if you mean. Oh yeah, Prosperity X player draws three cards. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it, we got a joke. We got a joke ready, which I'm go it's gonna be my recurring joke until the end. So every time I see a Prosperity card, I'll talk about the one from Visions. Prosperity, each player draws X cards. So anytime I see a list with a card like that, this is gonna be my recurring joke. Ooh, we play against Los Amuletos, which I swear it's the reason why I built this deck. Not because it's a good matchup in this matchup, game one's probably unwinnable. But the reason why I built Gruul is to have 10 cards sideboard against Amulet Titan, the best deck in modern. And also remember to always play the commercial district, not playing a survey land is a mistake. You don't want to make a mistake in deck building. Okay, this is a creature that I'm actually happy to draw here, yes. Exactly, Dingo. You draw a lot of cards, you're searching. Anytime I see a prosperity card, I will not acknowledge it. To me, that doesn't exist. Dingo, shouldn't you be in bed? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't kick out my viewers. Oh, I know the heat. Huh. Oh, Lord. Honestly, though, I think I need to kill this. My opponent goes crazy next turn if I don't kill this. Oh. I know it's a 2 for 1 and everything, but I don't think this matchup is about 2 for 1 -ing. You're sorry you're a zoomer with bad taste. Oh, no, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. I just have to highlight it. That's my moral requirement as MTG Boomer. See if they have their payoff. Alright, GG. Again, main deck, we're playing two different games. Sideboard, we have 10 cards now. Uh, the cards that they don't like are Mutagenic Growth, Anoli Heat, uh, Lava Dart, uh, what is the other one? A uh, one breach, one apostol blessing. I keep in one apostol blessing because that is a world where you need to protect your magus. But remember, this you have to treat Amulet Titan as a legacy deck. So if you don't respect it, you're always gonna be losing the game. Well, turn three win three interaction yeah and the mulligan to five i honestly won because the mulligan to five maybe if i played that back i would have kept the medium six and i would have lost so you know this is what i mean with you have to you, know, you have to know everything about amulet to to play it well and when you go to a tournament i mean i played amulet as my i was four one so it was my round six opponent and obviously they knew very well what they were doing Boost. 
And that's most, most likely what's going to happen to you if you go to a tournament in Modern and you do well. You're going to play against Amulet, which is very good at playing Amulet. So they, 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 they will have those draws because the deck is super consistent with the 8 copies of Amulet of Vigor. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did play Titan. There was a moment where I played Titan. It was, I think, last month. I made a, I made a couple of videos in a row with it, but then I went to a tournament and I lost to Merc Day twice. So that's it. That's the end. That's a sign to quit. Okay, now. Now that's a keep. We don't have a third land yet, but we have a lot of looks at it, and we have two great cyber cards. Bubble for bubble. Bubble for bubble. Va bene, is it? Nah, nah, I shuffle it away. And I'll, of course, surveil. Always play survey land. Okay, that's my third land. Let's go. And Gigante is relevant in this matchup because... Ooh, they misclicked and went to discard. I want to say, Gigante is relevant because you, you play Blood Moon and then you... You play Blood Moon, and then you get green mana with Gigantha. Should, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Should have taken two damage, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna win this game. Thanks to my cyber cards. Okay. Mountain Soulscar Mage, Return Gigantha, Attack. Play, I guess, Attack first. <laughs> Pull to you. And then I'll play Blood Moon so that if they have this member on my Magus end of turn, they can't play Ring. Teoxan, 22 months. Welcome, my friend. You're having a great day today. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, so the basic green is just that you only have four Voodoo Futus, so you have like five sources to get a basic forest. I think it's not worth it. Yeah, I should have played Blood Moon pre combat. I made a mistake. Lias Lias, thank you for the tier one. It's just that I made up my mind of playing Gigantha, and then I realized that I can go Dismember Ring and I can lose that game. So I decided to play Blood Moon post combat. Hello, Teoxan. Am I going to try Hammer with the new boots? For sure, everything will be different with the new boots. The deck would be great again. That's not true, I can't cast them. I have Gigantha to cast the green cyber card. I've played uh, Pick Your Poison with Blue with Moon in play in the in the tournament on Sunday with Gigantha. Okay, they got this member. Set to red. Okay. Okay, uh, game three, mm, that's my cyborg plan, so we'll go. Main. Put a mouse to six. Uh, I think I have to mulligan as well, but man, this end is good. If only I had lands to cast my cards. All right, this end is also very good. What do I bottom? Uh, is it a show off or is it Vren's Resolve? I think it's the show off. Yeah, cause like I just need to 
get mana and cast this. Like, my plan post sideboard is just resolve moons. Oh, I just realized when we're playing against Gurig. This is a very... This player has a lot of results with Amulet. Great draw. I'm gonna get my green swords. And then I'll try to uh, surveil into lands here. That's all I need. All I need is lands. Da, 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 da. Okay, what about the bubble now? Do the second one. I th think I'll keep it there. Yeah, you have a Bloseju, but thankfully I have a Magus. They have zero cards left. They have zero cards left. Now, that one is a top lane, so I can't go uh, Ravelry into Magus. I guess now I wish I had a Slickshot show off instead of Ren's Resolve. Copy of a grazer that does nothing. They actually like to go. Mm, let me think about this. So you got you do you have nothing on top and you draw. Hmm. So I can go top. I think I'm gonna go brands resolve. I know it's weird, but I think I have time, and I just wanna get delirium. Okay, so this is delirium. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Questing Druid, not great. They have Grazer, so they play it. And now the moon doesn't do much. I think I'll put a mulligan to five like every game. No, I guess they on game two they kept seven. We had a fantastic hand. Okay, on top land, perfect. So I can sequest Magus Soulstar Mage. I meant to say Slick Shot Soulstar Mage. And now I don't need to play Magus because they have zero cards. So even if they draw. I don't know anything. I don't need a Magus. I just need to keep to care about my game now. Do as much damage as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna do bolt here. Revelry here. Attack with all. They can draw into ring. That's like the only good draw they have. It's GG. All right. Let's go. 3-0. Great start, beating Amulet Titan, post sideboard, as always. Have to refill the water, I'll be right back. Let's go, round number four. I got my Jaggy, Jaggy Jaggy. Not a great hand, but I always have a one drop with the commercial district. I think it's like very very important the um, that you have a plan against Amula post sideboard. So th th there's a lot of great cyber cards. Like Force of Vigor is another one. Obviously, my deck can't play Force of Vigor, but if you okay, Bozeju, what is that? That may be Hardened Scales. 
yeah, it's maybe also Tron. I love if to, if it's Tron. Tron is a good matchup. Yeah, it's art and skills. Yes. I don't know why, but I <laughs> thought so when I played Baseju. All right, let's go get the commercial district, which you again should always play. Chandler. Do I want this or not? I think I don't. I'm looking for card advantage plays. All right, let's play this. Attack. You think this is a good deck to start playing modern? Yeah, it's relatively cheap. I saw that in my uh, top 16 of uh, last week in Pisa. This was the cheapest deck by a very, very large margin. I'll go Swiss Spear Attack. I don't know how much damage I have, but it's a lot. All right, they don't block. So that's 17, sorry, that's two. Lava Dart is six. This is three, so I have nine. No, sorry, Lava Dart is eight. So I have eight plus three, 11, plus two, 13. So I have 13 damage. Hmm. I have 13 damage right now. I think I don't do anything. Maybe I should though. Maybe I should. It's 13 damage. But that means that I'm wasting the Noli Heat. Yeah. Pass. If only this last land would have would have been a spell, I think. It would have been much better. Maybe I should have just played the channeler. Oh wow, they don't have a land. Is Reno still good? Yeah, there was two Rhinos in the top four, and I think that was the only two people in the tournament. Rhino's very good. I like the version without Leyline of the Guild Pact, but I guess with Prowess coming back, Leyline Scion is important. Because if you do Leyline Scion against Prowess, you win. You, like, you auto win. It's game over. Okay, they go. They waste a Walking Ballista. So now they can... Um, yeah, I can give ability to this. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I lose. I was come doing. Uh, some people win with it. It's not me. I don't like the deck, but some people win with it. Friends is there good because people is the pilot. Yeah, that too. Fortunately, I don't have another commercial district. Yeah. Should have played a land. My bad for not doing so. If Lickshaw show off would have grown the toughness as well, I would have won the game. But it doesn't. Uh, the walking ballista patchwork wins against that. Needle. Are they naming some Baked Canyon? Uh, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. They have Walking Ballista plus Patchwork, they attack, and then they shoot. Alright, uh, another matchup where I want all my sideboard. Do I also want the Magus and the Blood Moons? 
question. Maybe not on the play. Let's try and do this. Yeah, not the Blood Moon. Yeah. This is another land heavy hand that I should maybe mulligan, but I just refuse to do so. I should maybe mulligan these type of hands. I'll put that in the graveyard because that house might have lead in. I should have maybe gone stomping ground because I could have gone turn two pick your poison commercial district. The mountain was bad. I can can never win games like this. So my hand was already sketchy and I drew two lands in my first two draws. So that's it. Ooh, they can they can take away the Lyran from me. <laughs> yeah, I have to play this, otherwise if when it takes away the Lyran from me. It's like drawing slick shot can turn the game around very quickly with this Lava Dart top deck. Wow, so it was a good draw with flying. Yes, you cited to pick a poison for my flyers. That's funny now. I don't think I want to go Lava Dart. Arcbound Ravager. Hmm. That's my show off. That's seven damage with this lava dart. Uh, Bad Bunny, my opponent had walking ballista in play. I could have killed my show off. I wonder if I should go for it, just one damage, not play Lava Dart. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So they are trying to add counters to the Ravager. I think let me think about this. No, I can't get talking about it for previous match. All right, let's think about this. Because if I go Lava Dart on Ravager, I am either killing Ravager or killing Cauldron. Yeah, my opponent is definitely playing well, exiling at the right moment. Aloha. If I go... If 
if I let it resolve and then go double dart on Ravager, I think that's better. I think this is better. So now I go dart on Ravager. Dart on Ravager. I let it die, and I dealt 5 damage, I think it's okay. I think it was a better option that I had. Okay, they don't have the 4th land to play ring, this is very good of me. They get Urza Saga. And then they play Ravager. Why is it a 2-2? Two, two? Oh, because they put a counter on it immediately. Okay, sure. Draw. No heat. Okay. It's good enough. Let's play it. You don't understand why I wait the plus one, plus one to, do, to shoot with Dart. Because I dealt four extra damage with my Slick Shot. If I drew one more spell this game than land, I would have I would have won this game. Okay, they play ring. They're at six life. Let's hope I can draw a cyber card. Like pick your poison would be amazing here. Channeler. Jaggy attack for oh no, what am I talking about? Pass. Yeah, breach from the top. Be nice. They can get Shadow Spear. Why do skills play ring? I don't know. Good card. You have some mana ramp in the form of Spring Live Drum, so you can play on turn 3. Yeah, and I mean, I kept a 4 land hand and drew 2 lands at the beginning, so... I mean, I should have mulliganed, but... Because, like, I'm very, I was very, very close to win this game. Maybe game 1 as well. I think if both games I have a little bit more spells... Well, if I draw Lightning Bolt, I win the game. Oh, a Lightning Bolt. Oh, no, they can sacrifice the ring to the Ravager. I see. Yeah. I guess I need, like, to draw two into two bolts. Questing Druid into two bolts. Not much I could have done here, I think. This matchup is similar to Amulet. It feels very negative, and you try to pull it through with your sideboard. Like, it's very negative game one, and you need a heavy sideboard. So once again, that's why I like to push for the Gruul Splash. What tournament was it? Um, the tournament in Pisa, Tuscany. 77 players, 7 rounds of Swiss. All right, let's go on the draw, Giganta Mirror match. This sounds good. Let's hope that the Apostle Blessing can do something. Ay ay ay, lay down the Guild Pact. Again, in this matchup, you have no outs to the combo. You have no outs to the combo. Surgical Extraction is for the um, Warriors Vengeance decks, one of the very powerful modern decks. 
which is again very bad game one <laughs> and you need to fix it for cyborg I can see a postal blessing being cut okay thankfully they don't have the combo The review lightning bolt, man, why didn't I draw that? Instead of my opponents. Alright, they bolt me. Oh no, they don't bolt me. They play Kavu instead. Okay, and I draw another land. Si, ma che cazzo? Ma le spedo che cazzo sono? Porca boia. All right, I got a block here. We have, I guess, Anoli Heat to deal with this. I think after this match, I'm gonna play Izzet Prowess. I'm gonna play Abundant Harvest. I could see playing Abundant Harvest. I could see playing Abundant Harvest. Alright, I'm at 7. Basically dead. Well, it keeps on exiling my graveyard, which is a good play. I mean, I don't know what they have in hand, but I think it's, it's definitely a good play. I can't play a Postal Blessing anymore. All right, let's go Survey Land, Questing Druid. Swift Spear, nah, that's, that's graveyard it. I'm looking uh, for good cards. Did I find them? Land Channeler. Okay, so I can go land. I can go land, questing druid, double channeler. I'll chump with one channeler and I'll uh, then have a 3 3 to block your goblin. Do I plot slick shot in modern? I mean, it's like, it's like very, it's, it reminds me a lot of Ragavan dash. Do you dash Ragavan in modern? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, let's say that you cast it three times, you plot it one, some stuff like that. If I put his mana up, I'd love to plot it. Okay, I play against the. Um, Another deck where we need uh, the package. This is the eight cards package. All right, what is bad against Zoo? I, s I made a cyber plan. Okay. I made a cyber plan somewhere. What, what was I cyborging against Zoo? Anyway, um, mm -mm. was it Channelers? Discord just massively blocking the view. Okay. Shared it in the car in his Discord. I said to cut Lava Dart, opposed to Blessing Breach DRC. I can see cutting Lava Dart. One is most likely won't have. Uh, I, I, I like this. Let's go. Uh, I think Magus, maybe Magus is still good. It's just that the fact that it dies to both Trouble Flames. All right. 
keep. Let's go. Solska Mage, go. I'll do it with Stomping Ground this time around so that I can do both Pick Your Poison. Okay, I guess they don't have the... Maybe I shouldn't have... Anyway. Let's play this. This hand is good. This is the same hand as last game, except I was on the draw last game. And now I'm on the play. And if you know, there's a big difference between these two. Let's go Slickshot Show Off and Bubble. I know that I'm wasting the DRC trigger, but it is what it is. Five damage. And pass. I'll wait until they fetch and then crack bubble because I'm using giant growth in my deck. Ah, bolt on top of your deck, very strong. Let's hope to draw me giant growth. Okay, you run the word breach, that's not bad. My runs resolve over light up the stage. Um uh, well three mana versus two. The worst case scenario. I just really love to cast Rand's Resolve on turn two without having a board or things like that. Okay, you go Legion's End on my bird. Leaped Spear. Once again, having uh, Survey Land in my deck means that I can curve out any time with a Fetch Land, and that's great. My opponent is at 10 life, which is not very many. They play a 2 mana 4 4 that unfortunately doesn't die to my Pico Poison, which they know about. Surveil. So it's gonna make graveyard. So I'm gonna get delirium if I want by casting the speak your poison. Oh bolt. That's much better. Oh lord. I can go bolt breach bubble. What do you think about that? Bolt breach bubble. Of course, bubble after the breach. So that I, my prowess thing attacks. Nah, I think I'm just gonna attack. So, the question is, where do I go with Bolt? Because Bolt can also go on the Kabu, because that's Soska Mage. No, I guess they have line, their own line of Bolt. Okay. Let's do this. I'll go Bolt face, sorcery speed, and see what I surveil with Channeler. If I go Breach, put in the Graveyard, how many bubbles can I cast? I think I can cast two. See, if they go Sacred Foundry Bolt, uh, the Channeler might be a little bit annoying. Let's see where they go with this Bolt. So they're shocked. They go on the Channeler. Makes sense. So now, I can go... I win now. Now I win 100%. <laughs> Breach is so good. So good. Okay. Uh, no. Cyborg. I still don't like Magus. The trade Magus for, for Bolt suck. Although I guess I'm playing a deck where they have to Bolt the cheaper cards anyway. So maybe it is good. Maybe it is good. What do I cut? Questing Druids. One Magus. Let's go. Okay. Keep. 
They don't have ley line once again. Land Ragavan. Okay, so they brought back Ragavan on the play. Makes sense. We go Mountain Go. Uh, there, I guess I should be concerned about Stubborn Denial. So let's just bolt now. They dash Ragavan, it's okay. Oh, wow. Very awkward mana base, which used to be the problem of uh, that deck. Let's go Swift Spear Bubble. Attack for two. We should stop drawing four lands every game. That's, that's a lot of lands. I guess you have a Bolt. I'll bubble myself. Let's see what it is. Breach. Okay. I'm gonna draw that. Land, Solstice Mage. Go. Now I'd, I'd love to draw Bloodman now. Okay, a Forest. So Tribal Flames can deal two to Magus. But there's still very clunky, very clunky hand. Oh, yes, Fable. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's go pick your poison on enchantment. Land attack for two. Yeah, I don't really want to repeat all the things all the time, but um, I guess I have to. You have to play all these decent chants to have a decent matchup against Amulet, and you have Gigantha to fix after a blood moon. It makes sense if you just arrived to ask again, don't worry about it. How much do you value a card that says I win the game a portion of the time? Breach? Yeah, very good, huh? I'm going to play Sign of Draco. They drew a Fetchland. And two? Oh, Kabu. Okay. Let's surveil. Hopefully, I find spells. No? Armado, Namina, Carogne, Luca. Mado, ma che cazzo è? Sotterre. Okay. Dai, cazzo, dai. I can go breach. I can go pick your poison on Cyan. Sacrifice a creature with flying. Then I bolt the Goblin Shaman. And then I can't attack. Actually, I'm attacking here. You can't block. And then I bolt. Yeah, I don't want to bolt the Kabu. I know I shrink it, but... Oh. Fortunately, I have 15, 6 land in my hand. Quentin gets some card filtering there. Or if they have two spells in hand, they can just... I can just exile my graveyard too. When it legions ends my creature and passes. Spell. Hmm. Okay. So I think I wanna do Gigantha and then draw with a king end of turn. It's gonna be my turn. A nine, I got a four. That's two trouble flames. Maybe I was supposed to draw with Canyon, because if I draw Blood Moon, I, I slam it. Yeah, maybe I mis made a mistake there. Should have drawn first.
Yeah, I'd, a lie. I died. Let's see what was the top of my deck. If it was a blood moon. Yeah. It wasn't. Alright, 3032. Um not much anything I could have done about the um Art and Skills game against Zoo, I think. I could have got a little bit luckier. But that's okay. Um Definitely a strong performance uh, for the deck. I think you can improve. You can cut the Apostle Blessing. I think you have to play three Breach if you don't play uh, red, if you don't play blue. And now, actually, if you're on stream, we're gonna play blue. If you're on YouTube and watch this whole thing, I wanna let you know that the the is a video with prowess will be posted in the next days. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Bye.